experience is that I, like most of the people I talk to are like, oh my God, that is so cool. I want to quit my job. <laughs> so maybe it's, but maybe it's just more coaching on how to approach that, you know. It was, do we have any suggestions on how to, how to, how to make it better? Like it's a bit of a branding thing, partly to make itself and association with outplacement. Sounds like it could be a stigma. That could, that could. Well, that that, that certainly is a uh, an issue. I I think maybe it's because it sounds to me like a lot of people. That's a very hard thing for a lot of people to do is to to do the networking. And I'm wondering if it's within the process or the program, maybe. Um, Maybe, first of all, not calling it networking. Sometimes it's like calling something sales. You know, maybe the, the way it's explained in the program, it's uh, self-development, meeting people, just meeting people, talking to people. Um, and it's easy for me, I'll admit that, but I didn't have negative experiences. As a matter of fact, most of the people I talked to were like, oh my God, that is so cool, I want to quit my job. <laughs> so maybe it's... But maybe it's just more coaching on how to approach that, you know. And then I loved what you said, Sarah, about connecting. Maybe you start, I mean, you have to build that base up when you're first starting as a consultant, right? But to be able to connect the people that are in the program initially, because they can, once you connect two people, they'll start connecting you with other people. And if it starts within your comfort zone, for people that it's hard, harder for, like because everybody's worked at other companies. So, so. let me ask this question. I, I may not be totally aware here. Do you get given a list of people to network with, or do you develop the list? You develop the list. I mean, Ray would help if you asked him. You finish your resume and then. I know I've met okay, with other people that he sent to me. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> you finish your resume and then you you he says, okay, just go start talking yeah. to people about. Okay what you think you might okay. want to do. Right. And I had no idea what and I That's really hard for a lot so of So would there people. be a, a process improvement if, if Ray had a hit list of 12 I people? But I think I like the idea of connecting to other four themes. I do too. I think that's such a... I think it's a great yeah. well, well, it's, place it, to start. It's yeah. just um, yeah. you sort of speak the same language. Sure. I, I Actually, I, I admittedly have always wondered why Ray didn't use, uh, use us more sure. and yeah. connect yeah. us more. Yeah, he will now. He probably has he probably just wrote it down. <laughs> a good reason for it, yeah. but I always, I, I've just always wondered why, because yeah. um, we've but all I, been... Yeah, we can connect <laughs> people with other people. I'd be, I'd be a little, just, just a counterpoint sure. on that, because it can be a point where it gets comfortable to go talk to the core themes people that doesn't propel you forward either, right? So it'd be great if the core themes people that they talk to were going to help you Mentors. mentors, you know, mentor you yeah. into something, or maybe go with a to, to some event and help you network, or or something where there's a little bit more. Or just it, it can it can get people. easy. Yeah, to, and I, I, to do I don't, it. So I, I would just that's the only downside I see is it could be it could be easy to get in that niche and then be a time sink versus a productive. Thing. Absolutely, and I, I I think I wouldn't I, I I don't see it as something that you would only meet with core themes people. You get. Two chances. You yeah. get two core themes. <laughs> and then they connect you with and somebody. And then they connect you. And then because I, I, I yeah, well, I would well, never have met with but, anyone. But there's a process of people. improvement there. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. yeah. I also have a question about the networking thing because <clears> I think I, I personally feel that there are two components in networking. One is asking people for help. The other part is developing a, I, I hate the term elevator speech, but it's articulating what your needs are. And I think unless you do that, out loud to people that are out that are you can practice inside core themes but to me that's an important part of the networking is how do I condense or ask for or yep. articulate that in a way that opens up uh, opportunities for me is that part of the right, is that part of the piece that makes people I think it would be, it would be nice to change translate core themes to a language that other people speak, uh, basically. And I think um, I may even go as far as to say that now, after I left the practice of law, even if I was in house, I I got a lot of calls from people that I went to law school who were going through the same thing. And you know, you identify a bunch of traits that are in com that we all hold in common. I obviously haven't done core themes with them, but the other thing that would be helpful is 
and perhaps this is asking for too much, but people like you generally gravitate towards this kind of profession, if that's even possible. Because for me, again, the biggest thing was, I'm an attorney that doesn't want to practice law. What do I do? I'm stuck. And, uh, and I have no words that can, that can register that means absolutely anything to anyone else that is not an attorney. And, you know, again, translating core themes into something that sounds like a Excel sheets or, or PowerPoint. I don't know, whatever people are looking for. And perhaps buckets of areas that people who are have these needs that you have generally tend to go here. Why don't you start navigating to what's there? Yeah, I think there's, there's probably some potential there, some danger as well. Mm -hmm. I think. No, I know. I, I just think the words almost can you change it from networking because networking has the connotation of you don't have a job and you're trying to find a job. Whereas what I'm hearing from a number of different people is you would decide to write, what, I don't know what step you are on the 12-step plan from getting away being an attorney, but uh, you, you, you just went off to do something different. And now you're, and you and went off and did something different. So now you got to go talk to some people that do that kind of stuff just to find out what it's like to do that kind of stuff. I don't know if that's networking, right? I mean, but with the answer now, it gets termed networking. All of a sudden there's this negative or at least I, I sometimes feel yeah. like it's a negative connotation, and I usually don't have it that much trouble. It becomes more research. Right, yeah, and I just feel like versus, just just go have some conversations with people. Yeah, yeah. Find so out, yeah. You know, validation. That's right. Exploration. Yeah. Uh, exploration or something yeah. like, something beyond that, the, just the networking name. I just, it immediately hits me as, you don't have a job, you're looking for a job. You're, you're, sort, of, you're sort of testing the thesis. Of what your themes are, but you're sort of you got to throw it out there and see if anything sticks. Right. Well, that's yeah. the if it resonates when you say it, whether it's actually real. Go ahead. I mean, that's the thing. You come out of this with your core themes, right? And some of us know generally what direction to go in, but some of us come out of it and say, <laughs> "I don't know where I'm going." So it truly is an exploration. Yeah. You're talking to people across the universe about yeah. what potentially would influence you. That's a great word. I love that. And I like changing the networking because I, you know, I'm just thinking of when I was going out there and just hearing how everybody else thought about it and what they were doing. And I'm like, God, was I off in the field? Because I was just talking to people. And I, no, no, really, I mean, I, don't, I didn't even tell anybody what my core themes were. I didn't even tell them I went through core themes. I would just say, you know, I'd say I went through a program, but I, I was asking them, I would like to learn more about what they were doing. And then I'd kind of get into, well, you know, I just left a job, blah, blah, blah. But if it feels too much like you're going on, you know, out there like looking for a job, yeah, it does make you feel like that. So maybe it's just some work around, you know, the bullet points of what does that really mean? It's an exploration versus, you know, so I think, Good. yeah. You got that? Got it. The, and the one thing I would challenge you in terms of just an attitude toward networking um, so that you don't feel so needy is to think about it in terms of, First of all, recognizing that you have tremendous value, every single person here. What can you offer to that person sitting across the table from you? You may be able to help them. Yeah, yeah. You know, that changes your entire take. mindset when you're sitting there. All of a sudden, it's not like, what can you do for me, but how can I help you? And where are you? And I promise I wouldn't make a speech, but I can tell you there's, there are three presidents of companies in Maine right now who are there because I... And one board of director, one member of the board of, at Mercy Hospital, because he, he networked with me and a young woman sat right there one day who had left an accounting job at an insurance company. She was working with Ray, and Ray asked me to network with her. We talked about 10 minutes, and I said, you know, I'm looking for a president of a nonprofit that you might be interested in. Can she's I buy you a cup of coffee tomorrow? She's still there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think sometimes networking isn't telling somebody who you are and what what you stand for. It's about who are they, where they stand for. Yeah, so I'm just trying to change the tenor. Yeah, of yeah, I got from, it. Right, yep. So it's not networking because yep. what I heard from people here that hit me was it's a much broader concept sure. that it's everybody's going after here. And the instant you say network, you go like this yep. versus we need it broad. It just needs to be broad. Yeah, and I think the the point of you know every lawyer who's well not every but many lawyers. Yeah, I'm a lawyer. So I understand would be happy to be doing something else. 
<laughs> but it's a hard transition. Well, the other t the other point too is, I mean, I think it's worthwhile if you're coming out to meet with someone from a group like this or two people to refine what your description of core themes is and get advice on how to phrase it. So when you go into these meetings, it's you can avoid situations where they're branding you as being let go or. Sure. Well, in the world today, you know, sixty some some percent of the people lose their jobs, so it's not like it used to be. For people who are looking because they lost their job for whatever reason, because it's fairly common now. It's hard to interview somebody who has been let go somewhere sometime. So I know in mine, I, I told them I got thrown out. So. Yeah. And I think part of it too is um, ch changing from a mindset that says, I'm going to network with you because I want a job, and yeah. say, I'm going to network with you because, you know, I, first of all, I want to know your story. What's, you know, tell me about yourself. Yeah. Because I might learn from you, yeah. and I might learn something about how you approach to job search. It has nothing to do with me getting a job through Correct. you. It has. Yeah. I just learned something from you, and most people like to tell their own story. So if you approach it that yeah. way. And I think what, the, what, what, what we need to work there. <laughs> clearly understand is the process needs to help you do that, make that easier. I think it was helpful to learn about other businesses too. Like, you know, I thought maybe I wanted to do something or work for a particular business or, and you'd have a conversation with somebody and spend enough time and you'd realize, okay, that's probably not the direction yeah. I want to go. And so to, to look at them based on the, maybe the industry they're in and to just say, I'd like to learn about, this is interesting. I'd want to learn about.